right about now. This is BJ Murray from GuardYourGrillBox.com with the famous Timmy Witherspoon Jr. How you doing, my man? I'm all right, man. I'm all right. You three, one and one. Yeah, yeah. Last fight was a draw. How you yeah, feel about that fight? Um, I felt like I won. You know, I mean, I fought a hometown kid in Cincinnati. Right. And uh, you know, that's how it goes. Sometimes you can't leave it in the hands of the judges and stuff like that. But I'm gonna bounce right back and just do it again. You know what I mean? And just rumble. That's all I can do every time. Okay. What's your ha What do y'all have planned next? Um. Well, I just got back from England. Yesterday, really, so wow. kind of jet lag right now. But maybe in Houston, Texas, February 27th, we're gonna okay. finalize everything maybe this week. Okay. And uh, see what we can do. That's uh, Jimmy Jimmy Logan is promoting that fight. Okay. And uh, we're just gonna take it from there. Be training. Uh, what's this world's gen now? And right. Just doing that. Okay. Um, you fighting that lightweight? Yeah. No, right Not now I'm Junior Welter. I'm going to fight maybe in between 135 and 140. Okay. Where we can get a fight at. Okay, so you basically jump in back yeah, and forth. I'm like, I'm like a cruiserweight right now, but at lightweight, you know what I mean? Too light to be a uh, welterweight, too right. heavy to be a lightweight. Okay. So I got to, wherever I can get a fight. Being that you have um, a famous father, yeah, yeah. Cousin, cousin, it basically runs in your family. Yeah. How do you feel about that pressure? Um, I really don't feel no pressure. You know, I've been doing this for a while. You know, since I was like eight. Okay. So it's like a family thing. I, I don't think that my cousin felt any pressure. You know, what I mean, it's just we do what we do. Is I don't even I learn from them. You know, what I mean. Right. So I don't even look at it as I gotta prove something or something like that. I feel very comfortable with being part of that family. A lot of opportunities that a lot of people don't get, I get, and I appreciate that from them. And uh. It's a lot of togetherness, you know what I mean? It's, and maybe a lot of other people might look at it like uh, he got to live up to a name or something like that. But right. I feel like I'm you know, making my own name in this game, really. So what is your goals in um, 2010? Man, just to be very consistent. Maybe hopefully fight every month if I can. And uh, just look forward to 2010, uh, 2011. Right. And uh, just keep winning, you know what I mean? I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. This is BJ Murray here with um, Harry Joe Yorgi. I knew you were looking for him before. Um, how you doing, my man? I'm all right, man. How you guys doing? I'm good. Um, I kind of picked you on the last fight. I think you was the better boxer, but um, some things went wrong. Would you like to tell us about it? I mean, you know, we definitely, we definitely think that I'm the better boxer, you know, and I still think that most people do. Uh, you know, I mean, listen, I had a bad night, my first loss, you know, and uh, there were some other things that were involved in there. You know, I had, uh, I don't, you know, listen, I don't make excuses, man. You know, we had a little problem before the fight, but it is what it is. I mean, you know, I'm still number four in the world, 22 and one. You know, a lot of hard work behind that. Right. Um, so what do you have lined up next? Uh, we were talking, uh, we got a phone call from um, Camacho Jr.'s people. You know, they ran their mouth a little bit. They said they want to fight. We said, hey, look, sign a dotted line. We can do it, you know. Okay. And uh, we were talking about with uh, Wiki Bright a little bit, too. So, uh, you know, we'll see what um, my promoter, Banner Promotions, you know, whatever they put together, we'll do it. I mean, there's definitely something that's going to keep me moving forward to, to the world title. So, basically, fighting Wiki Wright right about now puts you right there at the top. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, look, I, like I said, I'm four in the WBC. You know, I mean, the WBO took me out of the top ten, but everything else, I'm in the top ten. But, uh... You know, it's everybody now, we're trying to fight somebody who's there. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, Camacho Jr., you know, he's a nice name. He's a nice little fighter, but he's not somebody who's in the rankings right now. Right. So, uh, for me, I like to fight guys that are the top five. Okay. Right where I'm at, stay there and just keep moving forward. Spot. Yeah. Um, so, basically, the top man at 154 right now is um, Sergio Martinez. Yeah, I mean, you know, listen, he, he boxed uh, Paul Williams very well. I, I, I had Martinez winning that fight by a round or two. And, uh, you know, then I also seen uh, when he fought Citron. You know, he looked good against Citron. Right. I mean, you know, here's a guy who's been overseas almost his whole career. Right. Come over here, he's looking good, but he's awkward. You know what I mean? The guy's all over the place. South Paul, too. Right. Um, but he's a world champ. Would you like to fight him sometime soon? Oh, man. Uh, listen, I'm number four in the WBC. <laughs> he's a WBC world champ. Right. I hope my promoter can make it happen. All right. 
what would you like to say to your fans out there? Listen, man, I, I, you know, I love the support from everybody, and I love my fans, and you guys have been there from day one, and you're still there. And, uh, you know, they show up every fight, no matter where Harry's fighting at, and that's what I love. This is BJ Murray from GuardYourGirlBoxing.com, here with Fast Eddie Chambers, future heavyweight champion of the world. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Just trying to stay in shape, but uh, you're ready for this interesting opportunity. Is it going to go down? I think it's going to go down. Going to Germany for this year at press conference, I think it's gonna definitely take place March 20th, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Man, I just—I've never been this excited. I think about a boxing event, you know, for myself anyway. And I think this is a hell of an opportunity to uh, take the belts and bring them back here to the U.S. Do you feel like it's a lot of pressure to bring them fight them titles back to the U.S.? I mean, there's some pressure, but you know, pressure in a situation like this is, is welcome. I mean, just everyone, everyone, you know, you need this amount of pressure. I think this is what, this is what separates, you know. The known, uh, the good from the bad, or the, the great from the good. You know what I mean? These things. This is important. You know what I mean? I want this pressure. But if I'm, if it's pressure, that means there's something at stake. And if there's something at stake, you know, that, that generally means <laughs> it's good. It's good. So it's going to be a good thing. So definitely. Did you watch the Vitaly Klitschko versus Kevin Johnson fight? Absolutely. Absolutely. What was your thoughts about it? <sighs> I thought Kevin could have done a lot more. Obviously, I think everybody thinks that. But at the same time, you never know what it's like when you're in there. Right. So I don't take too much away from him. Obviously, you're in there to win, and he just didn't look, you know, throughout the fight. But he was there to win. Well, he was there just to compete. Right. Do you realize basically you are our last hope? Well, I don't think I'm, a, I'm the last hope, and I don't think even if I, even, even even when I win this fight, you right. know what I mean, I think there's still maybe an American champion that comes after me to win another time. Right. There's just that possibility. I mean, you're looking at these Central brothers, and I think that's what. Frighten some of these fighters and keeps these fighters from, from winning because they're thinking so much about, oh, I'm fighting Klitschko. You know, instead of, instead of I'm going in there to win the title, you're thinking you're fighting the man, not the opportunity. And I think that's the problem. What would you like to say to your fans out there? Well, this, uh, stay tuned. Hopefully, um, this fight actually goes down, which I think it will. We're, we're, we're getting through the bullcrap right now to set up the fight. <laughs> Just watch March 20th, man, and keep supporting me, and I will shock everyone, even my, even my supporters, when I'm going to do March 20th.